High Power Laser Pointer Offences and Penalty Bill introduction. It is our privilege to stand Crimes and speak coward punch on this Member's Bill. bill. Madam Speaker, this is a Member's Bill in my name. I rise and I, and I will congratulate the Member. Here at Parliament, the bill. Government are not the only people that can write new bills. Any MP can propose a new bill and they're all thrown into a, a ballot and they're drawn out of this, a biscuit tin. One of the MPs who's had their bill drawn is Nationals' Nikki Kay. So my bill um, is about ensuring that every primary school and intermediate school aged child has access to learn a second language. Um, this is pretty significant for our nation. Um, I believe that not only from a cultural, economic, but also social perspective, it's a really important piece of legislation. The way that it works is that the Minister of Education would, via public consultation, uh, determine at least 10 priority languages for New Zealand uh, that must be funded, which includes New Zealand Sign and Te Reo. And then schools at a local level uh, would be able to pick which languages they delivered to enable children to learn that second language at school. But they would have to pick at least one of those languages. They would have to pick at least one. But the other thing that I'd say in terms of Te Reo, and I hope that it gets to select committee, is that under the existing law, um, there is a requirement for schools to uh, provide Tereo for those uh, children that want to learn it um, or take reasonable practical steps. That combined with my legal requirement, in my view, um, takes us much closer to the vision of universal accessibility of Tereo. Although some people would argue that what your bill might do is say to schools, hey look, you don't actually have to teach today, you can choose to teach... Um, Afrikaans or French or Latin or something else instead. And again, that's a debate that we'll have at Select Committee, but I think that those people who are arguing that are not looking at the existing law um, and how that works with my bill. The existing law requires schools to take reasonable, practical steps for those children that want to learn it, combined with my law finally requiring the Crown to properly fund that, in my view, if you consider those two things together, then I think there's a very good um, opportunity to provide that universal access. The detail and the kind of conversations that we'll have about whether we should be very specific at a school level that Tereo is one of those priority languages is something I welcome the debate on, whether we need to be that specific, whether we need to have a conversation about whether it is the case that if individual school children and their school is not offering Tereo are able to um, require that. Again, I think that debate can happen at Select Committee, but there are really three things that I think this bill is trying to achieve. The first is to actually say as a nation we've been piecemeal around language. We want to move in a greater direction to enable children to be able to be fluent in a second language. The second thing is to provide that universal accessibility around Tereo. And the third thing, um, I think, is to also come together and um, ensure that we are providing languages for people for multiple reasons, potentially around heritage, potentially around economic issues, but also from a cognitive perspective. Kia ora.